G'day guys and welcome, my name is Michael and I am the Dead Aussie Gamer and welcome to episode 5 of Minion Quest, a D&D 5th edition adventure that follows the story of four monsters as they travel through the world of Olestria. Now, if you've been watching the series up until now, you would know that the monsters themselves are chasing after a messenger who has learnt that the dungeon of Selak Frame is still occupied by monsters. They need to get to him before he reaches Lord Fancy Pants, the local hero from Altridge, who intends to go into the dungeon and slay any kind of monster within. Well, the group finds themselves in the town of Robinswood, a small, quaint little hamlet that they have decided to infiltrate as heroes. Now, when I say they've infiltrated as heroes, they've not really disguised themselves. The people of, uh, of Robinswood have never really encountered monsters before. So, well, they look like heroes because they talk like heroes, they walk like heroes, so surely they must be heroes. <laughs> Our group has decided to try and nail that fact in by doing a few odd and end jobs to help the townsfolk. Um, an incident occurred in the river where a lumberjack fell in and was attacked by giant skinks to which the group came to his rescue. And currently, they are in the middle of the forest searching for an anniversary present for Thomas Willett, the local um, dock master who seemingly forgot his wife's anniversary, uh, Martha Willett of the local uh, inn. Our group found the chest in which he supposedly buried all of the, the ancient and very sentimental things from his past, including a cutlass that contained the ghost of the former suitor to his wife, a dread pirate by the name of Robberun. After a brief discussion with Ray, our ghostly uh, cleric, you, it was kind of learnt that Robberun intended to slay the halfling, kill his wife, and to have them both wander off into an endless undead wedding bliss. Now, this did not sit well with the group, and they are now engaged in mortal combat with their undead adversary. Well, where exactly is our hero going to fall? Are they going to save the day and become champions of, Ro of Robinswood? Or are they going to remember that they're monsters? <laughs> Let's find out in today's episode. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we follow Brick, the barbarian orc, uh, Manfred, the magical wizard, Sticky Finger, our grung rogue, and Ray, our hollow cleric, in today's adventure entitled A Bulette with Your Name on It. The ghost of Robberon floats just above the waters of this small pond, blade ghostly and glowing with this green ichor, uh, seems to sort of look towards Ray. You believe that he is going to attack her first after the uh, the terrible, vicious, vengeful stare that Ray gave him last week. Well, uh, I know I uh, I know I originally thought I'd I'd stand out of it, but. These last couple seconds feel feel like they've been weeks, and um, I've, I've had a change of heart, and I will grab my spear and hit it! <laughs> All right, taking forth his mighty hooked spear, Brick prepares himself as he lunges for this undead. Roll your attack. Uh, on what? Okay, you, you go to the act. Oh, you, oh, oh, right. Um, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Map! Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like trying to like bring that. I was like, surely it'll be there by the time I. Nope. <laughs> be there. I I didn't realize that I only invited Eddie to it. So. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm gonna go there. And I'm gonna whack him. Give whack. him a good whack. <laughs> oh, whack. you do whack him as you plunge your 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 harpoon into his bony chest. Uh, bones and, and, and ghostly um, ectoplasm fly from the wound as you deal your damage. Ooh, nice. Not nice. Bad, not bad, not bad. nice. It is partially resisted as his ghostly form does resist physical injury, but uh, he does not like the intrusion upon his person. Uh-oh. Manfred, uh, it is your turn. Uh, all right. I am going to keep my distance. Move over this way over here. The wise and thing to do. Yes. Don't want to be up there hitting things with sticks. That's a bad idea. <laughs> and, yep, tail whips out and fling it a poison spray. Mm. 
All right, nice. Ooh. As your tail flicks out, now that the uh, the dust and and uh, you know sort of grime have been shaked off some of your spell casting, you launch a a projectile of acid that globules and splashes onto the face of this uh, this this dread pirate. Roll your damage. <laughs> Uh, well, that should, it succeeded in the fa- in the uh, in the save, so I don't. Think uh, doesn't it will. that do? Oh, doesn't that doesn't that do half damage, or is it? Uh, no, it's, a little, it's, it's just a little cantrip. It doesn't do. Oh, a little tiny well. cantrip. Oh, it's, okay. It's it hits him. It hits him in the face and goes straight through and into the water. You hear the splash from behind him. Yeah. Ray, <laughs> you're up next. Dumb ghost. <laughs> All right. Just walk through. Ray is going to uh, take a little step back kind of in this direction towards the bushes and um, then she's going to uh, kind of like muster up her dark energy as her hair starts to like get darker and darker and she's going to turn to him and say, I curse you, you foul creature Ooh. and cast pain. Ooh. Ooh. Very well. Ghostly magics manifest around Ray as she conjures uh, her necromantic energies. As she attempts to bane the creature, however, the magic seems to soak into his very bones. You watch as he stands there and says, A curse! You can't be cursing what's already been cursed, lass. I've known suffering and pain like you will never understand. But let me teach you. Or should I say, he says, looking at Brick, your friend. Uh oh. Sticky fingers. <laughs> um, so you said last time when we were looking around the place, there was a bunch of holes, yeah? Oh. Uh, there are indeed a bunch of very small, divoted holes uh, lying around the place. I haven't drawn them because um, there are quite a few of them. Well, uh, that's fine. Um, can I, um, s- s- I'd love to help, but I'm, I'm, I'm not that strong. Um, can I search some of these holes <laughs> for items or things that could possibly somehow relate to somehow help him? Uh, well, using your character's intuition, you look over at the chest that you had unearthed when you found the saber. Inside is still the, uh, the tricorn hat. You have pocketed the gemstones that were in there yourself. There was also a stack of love letters, and the sword is currently being held by Manfred, who, uh, who, uh, and and of course, there's a ghostly version of the same sword being held by the ghost pirate. Okay, could I take the tricorn hat and put it on? I don't imagine you do it so. fit on my head. But... Sticky um... fingers places his hands upon the tricorn. As he raises it out of the uh, the box, there's this kind of shudder as the box begins to shake. He rises it up, and you watch as these storm clouds appear on the horizon and rise and roil over your head. You place it firmly upon your brow, and nothing happens. The sky clears up. You hear the sounds of birds nearby. Um, <laughs> Can I, like, half put it on and, like, kind of continuously like move it up and down like can i you, can you, i do that again like would it just would i would i create clouds for a second or? As, as as you start doing that there is no effect nothing seems to be happening ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's um, frog, donning a, you're just a frog going along donning a hat on and off again <laughs> that's that, that's basically oh, yeah. what everyone does anyone does anyone react to sticky fingers like suddenly doing the hello my baby hello my honey hello my ragtime gal <laughs> i'd probably look i'd probably look at him having just i'd be like um Help? <laughs> <laughs> I am helping. I think he's under some, under some sort there... of mind control. Oh, oh God. <laughs> what have you done? Does everyone some get like a some sort of dance curse? <laughs> um, uh, uh, curse. Uh, no. <laughs> they don't. Oh. Um, <laughs> can I, if you'll mm-hmm. permit me, can I look through the love letters and just sort of read through some of them? Uh, I can say that you can untwine them. Help. Uh, you, you untwine them and you look at the love letters. You can see that there are a huge stack of them, all addressed uh, to uh, one woman. Uh, that is, of course, um, bup, 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 Martha. Mm-hmm. Um, none of them have been opened. Not a single one. All of them still are sealed, um, still crisp, etc. Just tied together in a little little string. Martha, why did you say that name? Um, can I... Um... <laughs> 
can I uh, open some of them and start reading? I, I want to specifically look for like embarrassing things that he wrote. Like he wrote these <laughs> how many millions of years ago. He might have said some embarrassing stuff like years ago. Uh, <laughs> you can begin doing that, but you won't have time to read them at the moment. Oh, that's all right. That's fine. Yeah. Well, I'll yeah, I'll just begin to do so. Very well. Okay. Thank you. The uh, the dread pirate uh takes hold of his uh his faculties as he sees you rummaging around in in the barrel but uh it doesn't seem to give him much concern or pause uh he turns and uh takes his icy cold cutlass raising it above his head he says how about you you landlubber as he stabs brick in the uh in the neck oh dealing my God. 12 oh, points oh. of damage. Oh. As a uh, technical side note, Bane failed, yeah? Like he's immune? Bane did fail. He is not immune. He just shrugged it off, I guess. Damn him. Damn him to heck. Uh, very well. Uh, that is what he does as he stabs you. Now, as that happens, um, Brick, I need you to make me a mm. constitution saving throw. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's good. Sure. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> Con saving throw. Well, joke's on you. I'm good at them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, not the best. Mm. Oh, come on, come on. Surely enough. Surely enough. Level two. Level two. Come on. <laughs> okay. Level two. Level two. Yeah, that is fine. Yeah. Uh, yes. You get this. As he stabs you from the wound, it almost feels as though for a moment, like um, like your body has grown heavy, like you are like suddenly covered in all this pressure from around you. So even though the sword stabbed you, the actual slashing damage isn't that much, but it's almost as if you've been pulled very sharply to the bottom of the ocean and the pressure around you is what's dealt damage. You also feel like this sense of water rising in your throat, but you manage to kind of push that away. And he goes, how do you like the taste of Davy Jones's cooking? I don't. <laughs> nope. Tell it, I'll let his Not wife know. <laughs> Not a fan. Uh, all right, Brick, you're up. Ah, uh, well, I think I'm outraged. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, nah, yep, nothing, nothing like a stab in the neck to get you really good and angry. Uh, as <laughs> Brick... I... <laughs> I believe I do have one rage remaining. I, um, I would, I would hate to be with it with that. But yes, um, I'm gonna trust my friends, and I'm gonna stab him. All right, make your attack as you take your harpoon for a second stab. Stab, stab. That's just one damage that I do the first, so not like this. Let's go, buddy boy. Oh God. Not great. As you... Oh, hold on. You do have advantage, thanks to a $10 donation from Laura Bones. Sticky fingers, oh. you also receive an advantage. Oh. You may use it now if you wish to. I will, Laura Bones. Thank you. <laughs> just roll again. Yeah, think, just think just about roll it. Again. you really want to use it now? That's true. Yeah. Really... <laughs> that one, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. God, well, you God, still... God, well, no, no, I will let you know that you did miss, but the natural one would have had you throw your spear into the pond. That was yeah, that was no. definitely happening. But, yes. No, so you, you did save that. You did save that. So there you go. Um, okay. Now, uh, next up, of course, is Manfred. Oh, come on. All right, so I'm looking over this, this scene here. Like, uh, I think our weapons are somewhat ineffective. Uh... And I'm gonna start flying up over the top of um over the top of brick, and I'm gonna drop him the sword that we got out of the box, the the, the cutlass with the gems. I'm dropping brick Ooh. the sword. All right, and then I'm gonna uh, back the hell back off again. <laughs> very well, very well. Flying by you very swiftly, Manfred drops the uh, the sword at you. Now, uh, brick, I need you to make me a dexterity check as a harpoon is a two handed weapon, and he has just dropped a sword on you. Uh, but I'm using a D6 with my spear because I'm using it one-handed. <laughs> I love how I love the look on his face. It's just, it's just for me as a GM is just him going 
buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. Uh, fine, fine. Yes, you catch yeah. it with one hand. You catch it with one hand. All right, you're now dual wielding. When they want lollies, please, please. <laughs> Can I have some lollies, please? <laughs> if he had said no, I would have rolled, but I was like, surely, surely I, know, I, I know. Look, this thing's tough. This thing's tough enough. I don't need to stab you with your own sword to, to, to deal to get to get you with this. All right. Ray, you're up next as you see Manfred uh passing the cutlass to uh oh. to, to break to someone more competent with a sword. I play a lot That's of stuff. clerics. But I have I know I think I said this last week. It's the decision between healing your party and keeping them alive and mm. those epic moments where you get to do really cool spells. But <laughs> I love, I, I love, I love Brink. So I'm going to fly behind him. Yeah. Use my last spell the slot. The power of friendship. <laughs> to cast Aww. Cure Wounds. Ray. <laughs> you feel an icy chill on your back in the shape of a oh. hand. As uh, as as the chill makes the hair on the back of your hand, um, your your neck stand on end. Uh, now, even though you're raging, your blood is kind of boiling, and there's this kind of like a chill, and you kind of feel like, if you, on average, you feel okay. Uh, okay, so uh, you heal six points of damage, which is fantastic. Sticky and then, finger. if you'll allow me, oh, oh yeah? I'm gonna oh. turn to um, our dread pirate and say, um, just because you're a ghost. And some watery sad boy, it doesn't mean you own grief. <laughs> I don't own grief, but I will own my woman, he says. Ah, I'm a product of my time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just quickly note Manfred came over, gave me a sword. Ray heals me. I'm the best friends. <laughs> yeah, even though you're in the middle of combat and, and Brick's raging, he's just got this smile on his face, a little tear yeah. in his eye. And meanwhile, uh, there's his, uh, and, mean, uh, and meanwhile, there's his best friend just sitting there like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Playing with a hat. Uh, speaking of, Sticky Fingers. Um, you think you found the right to, angle. I'm going to look over towards Brick and realize I'm not helping him and be like, uh, <laughs> give him a wink and a thumbs up. Um, then, <laughs> oh, that's all I needed. So, that's, there you go. Um, I'm then going to look through the love letters. I'm going to find one that says, um, I love you, Laura Bones, for giving me advantage. And I don't know what that means, but that's cool. Um, yep. And then so are there, are there, I'll actually look through the, the notes. Um, All right. Is there embarrassing stuff that he might have said that I could use against him? Uh, there is a ton of uh, poetry and, uh, and definitely, oh, some, uh, definitely some sonnets. Oh, boy. There, it, it, the, all of them seem like, like, kind of like these, uh, these, these very deep and and meaningful kind of, uh, kind of poems to to lost love. I'm gonna, as I have recently become a nerd, I'm going to um, read some of them and then look up at um, uh, at the dread pirate and and be like, you know, man, these are really, these are actually really good, you know. I don't know if if you if you you think this Martha girl is you know not the best you could do, but honestly you could do better. You could get any girl you wanted with this. You you could you could go places. You know maybe you should do that. Leave her alone and go somewhere else. Uh, all right. Make a uh, make a diplomacy uh, make a persuasion check with disadvantage, please. Yeah, fair. <laughs> not my best um, <laughs> not my best argument, but I try. Um, I love it. Uh, I said screaming because I'm raging. Oh, hold on, I'm All right. Also, oh, I, I, sorry. also, if you want to read out the poem, I have I have sent it to you on uh, Discord. Please okay. read out the poem. Um, I will. Please do it. I will. All right. So, <clears throat> one sec before it loads. Um, so, I uh, I I crinkle up the paper. And um, <laughs> I went to the wrong place on Discord, and I thought that it just said goblin. I was like, I hate this joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, the poetry's in goblin. Goblin, 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 <laughs> goblin, goblin. goblin. Uh, so it says, the pirate prayer, whatever your race is, or your color or creed, whatever your faith is, it's the same color we bleed. So may grace be your harbor and pride your true north 
Let faith be your anchor and make love your home port. Dear God, this is, I need a minute. Uh, <laughs> that was really good. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn. Uh, it's like, so, so while it's embarrassing, while it's embarrassing, on the other hand, it's actually not bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn it, I thought raging. they'd be... I, if, if we kill you, I'm stealing that. That's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brick is going through the whole spectrum of, of emotions. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. The Dread Pirate, uh, at this point, sort of says, All right, so, ye be reading me love letters, and ye be using me cut sword to try and stab me. Uh, he's going to, uh, he's going to basically float over to Sticky Fingers. Oh God, he floats. Uh, now, as he as he floats over to Sticky Fingers, um, I'm gonna give Brick a free attack, mostly because he's moving in such a way that it's it definitely just gives you a free free swipe at it. However, so, what are you gonna swipe at swipe at him with? I'm mm. going to swipe at him with the sword that many gave me. It passes harmlessly through him. <laughs> ah, I look at Manny and I'm like. Broken sword. He I will just... use his cutlass and stab sticky fingers. Why? <laughs> and misses. Yes, may drama. Oh. As your may drama deflects the uh, the sword good. blow. He does not expect yes. it at all, but you can now see as he hits it the shimmering of this um, uh, magical suit of armor that has just protected you. He looks at his sword. And you watch as he raises it just a little higher for another swing, which he will do next round. Uh, Brick, your turn. You're standing behind, uh, flanking now with sticky fingers, with your cutlass and your harpoon in hand. Well, I'm throwing the cutlass to the ground. That was useless. <laughs> <laughs> it lands. I look, I, look at my, I look at my trusty spear and I go, uh oh, never again. And I stab him. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so there is the uh, there is the the cutlass in the in the ground. There we go. Look at that. All right, take this pirate. Ah! All right, a solid hit with the um, uh, with the end of your harpoon as you stab him in the back. Very honorably. Max Ooh, damage. Nice, a very heavy blow. Uh, even though it's partially resisted, you see more of that um, that ichor sort of the ectoplasm falling out of its back. However, now your your spear, as you kind of pull it backwards, is covered in like seaweed and barnacles and brine that you seem to almost pull like entrails as you've hooked into the insides of this this ghostly creature. Smells like home. Actually, Stay does away smell from like my home. sticky fingers. Manfred. <laughs> ah. Oh, okay. come on, Manny. Come on. Oh, then what's more worthless than a wizard without spell slots left? Mm. <laughs> Not much. A general bard. <laughs> a general bard. <laughs> yeah, just, just general oh, bard. Oh, dang. Yeah, yeah, just shade. <laughs> uh, oh. 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 Can I do that? Oh, no, that'll be a bad flanking. plan. All right. Technically, are we flanking him? You are flanking him. <laughs> Moving back and I poison spray. Nothing enough. exciting to report. <laughs> it's All right. Can... <laughs> as your look. as your tail <laughs> launches oh, a saved... blob. Oh, nice. He saved again. Boo. He did save. I keep forgetting it's the reverse. Yeah, it, it takes a bit to get excited. Get my head High number. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. All right, Ray, you're up next. Um, I'm going to Radio Ray cast. I think it's my only. Yes, Ray I'm going to cast. Ooh, no, sacred flame. Ooh, very nice. I'm just gonna back up a little bit just to give some space. And then cast Sacred Flame. All right, you watch as Ray ghostly floats backwards. Suddenly, this uh, this blue flame, one of the two that kind of float around her all the time, sort of begins to burn even brighter as it sears forward. But as it does so, the uh, the ghostly figure seems to cut through the flame 
with the back of its cutlass. Throw damage? Uh, yes. Yes, throw yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, no, no, hang on. Yeah, so he fails the save. So yeah, he he does that, and yes, the flames engulf him as it explodes. Yeah. For Ooh, eight nice. damage. Nice. <gasps> Ooh. Body dissipates Ooh. Ooh. and vanishes, Ooh. falling huh? to the ground <gasps> and right. melting into the earth. As this Ooh. happens, you breathe a sigh of relief. What do you guys do? I'm gonna pluck at that poem. Uh, yeah, you have a look <laughs> at more of you have a look at more of the poems. Ray, what what did you do? What was it that you did to to take out a ghost? Because everything I was doing was just I was I was hitting him perfectly, and nothing would take effect. And Brick was doing I just, much better. I just think you probably just need a little bit more aim practice. It might have looked from your point of view that you were hitting. You were just kind of like. Just maybe oh, practice no, no. throwing it like a target or something. It's just, it I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just I'm, no disrespect, sort of... no disrespect, but it's, um, yeah, no, no, it's, uh, yeah, no, he was probably resistant. That's all, yeah, no. no as the two spellcasters, uh, as the two spellcasters discuss the nuances of the differences between spells and their effectiveness on the undead, Sticky Fingers, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to go over to my buddy Brick. And I'm going to be like, nice work, man. You really got him good. You killed, well, I mean, you didn't get the killing blow on him or anything, but you know, uh, you hit him hard. It was because of you that we uh, got the kill. That was pretty good. Oh, stop it. <laughs> okay. Um, fuck off. Uh, uh, you, 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 did, you did good as well. You, um, you did I did the nothing. With the yeah. hat and, the, and the letter, though. That was, yeah, that oh, was, <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't get it, but I'm sure it was great. I, I mean, yeah, it was. It was pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do good. anything, Mike. I'll just keep talking to. All right, <laughs> Brick. I take your head out again, and uh, I will. Seeing, uh, well, M Manny gave me the sword, and um, I think he's having a bit of a, a, bit, a bit of a thing with <laughs> perhaps missing. So I, I will go pick up the sword and walk over to Manny, and I'll go, "Hey, uh, Manfred. Uh, uh, yeah. This is no, no offense. It's useless for me, but if you." run out of your spells, uh, before you move you can... before you move um, uh, uh, stop um, another, uh, never mind. as you go near the sword you watch as this ethereal ghost hand comes out of the handle and all of a sudden you watch as a blade pierces the back of brick blood uh. shoot, blood shoots clean out of uh, of the uh, the back of brick as he takes 16 uh. points of damage and hits the ground. You watch as the rest of this dread pirate emerges from the handle of the sword, pulling itself out, almost like it's squeezing out of a bottle. It then sort of says, I hate when that happens. He pulls the sword out and Brick falls to the ground. Pool of greenish blood covers the, uh, the, the mossy, grassy earth. You can see small colored flowers begin to bloom in the blood. I'm Manfred. going to race forward. Are we still in initiative? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, shit. Oh, he's back, back. I mean, cool. Guess who's back? Back again. Okay. Yep. I'm not doing the rest of the song, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. He's in my back. <laughs> Manfred, yes. Yes, that's true, that's true. <laughs> Gosh, I'm I'm down. Gosh, actually down. down, down. And uh, sword is extracted from brick at currently, right? Uh the no, the the physical sword is on the ground next to brick because this happened as brick was reaching for it. The basically the ghost blade came out of the sword and up into his chest. Right. Okay. Right. Brick but it's still where you can see it on the on the map there. Fuck. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm not okay. <laughs> Fear uh, me. Freak it out a little bit. <laughs> uh, all right. I am going to step up to said blade and possibly do a dumb thing. Uh, I am going to grab the blade and... Shoot. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. So I'm okay. 
I'm gonna look over it. I know there was the, the poem that was that was inscribed into it. Is there anything else I written around it, or anything like obvious to like? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be rolling in the investigation. I'm guessing. Is this what you want me to do? I'm, uh, I'm no, looking no, over no, to see to see if there's anything special on this. No, no there's uh-huh. just there is the there is nothing special. You have all the information you require. There is a the the tricorn hat. There is the poems. There's the sword. There's the chest. There's the holes in the ground. That's it. Whereabouts is the chest in relation to where I am currently? Uh, it is five foot away next to Sticky Fingers. I am going to take said sword over there and slam it into the chest. Slam you hear, You hear this... Ah! It is stuck in the chest. Uh, <laughs> there, you, 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 you close the chest. It has a sword sticking out of it. Uh, you then look at Robert. Robertson, look at you. You look back at him. He looks back at you. He says... What was that made of? Are you trying to ding my sword? That's a magic ghost sword. It won't ding. And I'd use a rock before I'd use a chest. You okay, old Jin? Do you have, like, relatives we can call? Put you up in an old folks home. I hear they're really nice this time of year. I, uh, 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 that sword out of box, in back in box, goes go by. That's thought. Oh, I'm panicking. <laughs> he, looks, he looks at Ray and he says, "Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I see why you're hanging around with this one now. He's he's gonna he's gonna be bound for our kind any time now." All right, uh, let me put you out of your misery then, Ojin. He, uh, you know, sort of looks at uh, Manfred and seems like Manfred is going to be the next target. Ray, Ooh. I'm going Don't to me, I'm brittle. Uh, <laughs> float over to Brick and. I have no healing spells left, so I'm going to cast Feather Dying. Uh, yep, you cast Spare the Dying, which does... And which stops him from having to make death saving throws. Okay. Stabilized. So he's stable. He is still unconscious, but he's at least stable. Um, yes. So I need to... You touch a living creature that has zero hit points. The creature becomes stable. The spell has no effect on undead or constructs. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Brick is now stable. Sticky fingers. You're next. I am going to... Um, I have shoes on, so it's fine. I'm going to run up on top of Brick. Uh, like, I'm not that heavy, so I won't hurt him. Um, and I'm just... You hear a crunch. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take out my throwing knits and I'm I'm gonna look at the dread pirate and be like, Don't hurt my friend and I'm gonna whack I'm gonna throw um uh my my Aww. my knife at him. How dare he? All right, sticky fingers begins to throw knives at the uh the pirate. Uh please make your attack as you Um I am still having issues with seeing uh, what's his face on the board? So I'm just gonna have to roll and you have to apply it for that. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Uh, Seventeen. Uh, the pirate AC is. Uh, bu- 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 nope, not that. Uh, pirate AC is twelve. So that will hit. No, it will not. No. Uh, and roll damage. Uh, why? Uh, that is five damage. Okay. All right. Uh, which he resists half of it as he is incorporeal. So, yes, you throw your daggers at the uh, the ghost and it sort of pierces. He sort of shoves it off the, uh, the, the, the grimy, briny suit that he's wearing uh, as he then looks to you and he says, Oh, wait, your turn. It won't be long now. Uh, Brick, you are stable. Um, now... If you wish to, I will allow you to make a constitution save to try and regain consciousness. Alternatively, you could simply spend one of your advantages and get up. Hmm. Interesting. Would I be on one hit point? Uh, yes, you would be on one hit point. And what do I need for a, con- a 20 on a con? Uh, you would need a 20 on a con, yeah. Hmm. Well, morally as brick, I can't leave my buds fighting without me, can I? So I'm going to use that advantage. 
All right, using up the advantage, you have taken 21 wounds, and you are now awake. <laughs> oh, bloody Ooh. hell, that hurt. <laughs> Oops. Hang on. Sorry. You'll come back. Don't worry. I may have deleted you from initiative. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> there. There you are. Oh, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, uh, I I will um uh, <laughs> take everything in around me. Uh, all my all my buds, keep me alive yep. and fighting for me. Uh, there is a sword in a chest next to Manny. Yeah, that's correct. Is chest now. <laughs> as far as I'm aware, the sword did this to me. <laughs> Damn um, that sword! I'm. Can I try to make an attack to smash this sword to pieces? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, let's let's make it just a, a straight up strength check. Um, given that you Am I can still raging, no, I was you will not be raging. Yeah, you will not Damn. be raging. All right, it's a strength check. Well, I'm still pretty good at them. So Mike, Mike giggled when he when you said I, sword. I'm, still I'm going to give you uh dis. No, do I have dis? I know I've got advantage. So I no, never mind. Carry on. Does does brick oh. Eddie? Does brick have disadvantage on anything? Give me, give me a, give me a nod or a shake. He does have disadvantage. He doesn't have disadvantage. Oh. He doesn't. Oh. Damn it. Okay, fair enough. Oh. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't. Yes. Carry on. <laughs> uh, a st- a strength check or a strength save. Strength oh, check. <laughs> 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 All right. Here we go. Mm. With a twelve, it bends as you pull it back, but does not snap. But you do now open the box. Inside the box is what's left, which is the uh, uh, the love letters. Uh, uh, I just uh, to hell with that. I just look at the ghost and go, "Shut your mouth." <laughs> <laughs> That's all. He's not thinking straight. The ghost stops, sees, and he says, "Oh, I see. You're a lot more uh, wily than I gave you credit for." And he is going to uh, to try and stab Brick again. Do it. I don't even care. <laughs> bah! That'll yeah, hit. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> However, he will only deal four damage, which is um, still enough, but you know. Uh, and the reason he deals four damage is because he's on land. I'm so sorry, Dad. And not in the sword. I'm <laughs> Plonk. Oh, you had too much fun putting him down just then. I did. <laughs> it was a little. It was a little bit. A little bit of joy for my end. Manfred, you'll buy the box. This is getting really tense. It is really, really tense. <laughs> uh, this is this is a comedy show, guys. <laughs> you think killing us is fun? Yeah. Are you not? Are you not entertained? Uh, everyone, every, everyone in chat, play. Um, pl- pr- uh, do uh, S Y M for brick, which is always going to be shut your mouth. So S Y M for brick. Shut your mouth. Mm. All right. All right. I've got so much. Someone, good. someone, pay like fifty bucks and just give me, <laughs> give me a life with full health. I'll, <laughs> I'll get him. I'll get him. I will. Very <laughs> slowly. Where's my wallet? <laughs> yeah, t- <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna. I don't know if how I feel about my players bribing me literally for, for to, to like spare their characters. It's I kind of feel Rick just donated. <laughs> Who's this Rick guy? It's Rick, uh, <laughs> Mr. B. Rick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Manfred. What are you gonna do, Manfred? You just do something cool. He's not doing anything. What do I do now? <laughs> all right uh, you, know what, you know what let's let's try this <laughs> manfred is an old sort uh he has uh he's, he's been around the block for a bit make me a wisdom check not a save wisdom check oh, oh no that's not oh, i hovered over hovered the team it. why <laughs> oh no <laughs> you, are fa- <laughs> you are fairly confident that the thing you must do now is take all the letters and the chest and the cutlass and throw them <laughs> in the pond. Straight up. Got it. Best option. 
stupid he was actually wanting to do that anyway and <laughs> rolling <laughs> roll, <laughs> rolling so badly now makes me makes me ryan the guy sitting in this seat right now feel like an absolute dunce <laughs> all right oh. <laughs> but you're not I'm you're not doing it <laughs> all right you I was basically like you... chest i'm like like Sort of bundling sword in there. I'm like snatching the letters out of Sticky Finger's hand and like shoving them in there, pulling the hat off his head, and like shoving it in there. It's like, all right, what? that'll, all right, that'll take you your action to basically load up the chest, and the chest is in your in your arms. It looks like you're about to huck it into the into the pond, uh, which actually means that I can get rid of the uh, the sword that's there. So there we go. Uh, all right, next up is Ray. Um. Ray is just going to um, quite angrily um, look towards Dread Pirate. I think I have two advantage left. Is that right? Eddie, that's a question for you. Either nod or shake. Everybody stop and do the Three. Eddie shake. Aww. Do the Eddie shake. Okay, do so I'm going to burn shake. one of my three advantage to um, cast again Sacred Flame. Okay, yep. I will allow it. It's never not scary. Uh, all right, you cast this flame, and as it does so, the pirate looks uh, looks behind him, and uh, as you watch him sort of reach into his jacket and pull out what appears to be an old bullseye lantern, the flame coalesces inside of it, and as it does... It ignites the uh, the lantern because I assume that's a success. So he saves. It was, but I don't think I rolled with advantage. I only rolled once. Ah, okay. So, so with advantage. So with advantage, that would mean. Well, no, 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 no. You wouldn't roll with advantage. I would have to roll with disadvantage. That would be the the, the caveat. Oh, is sacred flame a saving throw? Yes, correct. Yeah. So the sacred flame is now ignited in the middle of this bullseye lantern, um, which he then sort of holds, and he says, Arlas, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, and I'm a bludgeon your friend to death with this here lantern. Bring it on. Ooh. Hey, Man, he's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. It's because, it's because he's too weak to hit me, that's why. Oh, I like the provocation. All right, make me an intimidate check to impose upon this this individual. If you succeed, I will allow you to have the additional effect that if he targets anyone but you, he will be at a disadvantage because he hates you. Cool. I'm great at tanking. <laughs> yeah, me, me, me too. Right. So I rolled it, but not on him. Do I roll oh, no, no, on just him? roll. Just, yeah, roll works? on the chat box. No, chat box, chat box. That's what I did. Did you? It's not coming up. Oh, yeah. Uh, try double clicking on intimidate in your on your character sheet. There you go. Oh, oh that is real unfair. <laughs> oh, you have advantage. Oh, I do. Um, <laughs> Roll again. <laughs> no, it's fine. You know what? I'm gonna let the dice tell the story. I'm cool with okay. that. Okay. Okay. All right. I feel, like I, I feel like deep down she knows she's a terrible tank, so she's not she's not putting her heart into it. The dread she's pirate weak. seems to seem to swell with with it with uh with with like energy as he looks up and he sort of says with this spittle sort of flying out of his mouth that has the smell of brine and, and eels and, and decayed fish. I smell your fear. Uh just because I wanted to do that. So there you go. Uh sticky fingers. Um, uh, um, well, I'm gonna do what I did last time and throw my other dagger at him. Uh, you can make me a wisdom save as well if you would like. I don't wanna. Uh, I, I will, sure. Um, wisdom saving throw. Wah, wah, wah. It's all right. But it rolled off of the board, so it doesn't count. Ugh. Correct. Oh, wisdom God, check. Not, not save either. It Wait, is well, wisdom check. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Man, I keep not rolling it on the board. I'm really sorry. It's okay. Great I forgive you. Thank you. Right. Seven. Oh, All right. Uh, with a seven, you're not confident that Manfred should throw the box in the water. 
more it would just mean yeah more more that it means that if it's in the water you'd have no way of getting to it Hampered, i need that box don't throw it in the water because uh i don't know why yet but i got a feeling you know you can grab it off him if you want Start i probably it. can i'm not big enough <laughs> um no uh, sure sure why not all right i'll 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 do that i'll 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 um i'll do my best to kind of grab the box off him manfred what are you doing you foolish tadpole we gotta put it in the water let's get it ah whoa <laughs> <laughs> Um, first off, wow. Second, um, <laughs> uh, there's still poetry in there, and I want to read some of it. I mean, it's... Why don't we be nerds together and read some poetry? <laughs> All right. As the two of you begin to fight, shaking it back and forth, the chest spills open, and the contents mm -hmm. fall on the ground. Uh, as it does so... Um, you watch as the sword lands um, pretty much amongst all of the, uh, the, the letters and the like. And uh, all of a sudden, you see this very, very tiny sliver of light appear in its shoulder. Everyone can make me a perception check, if you would like. Except Brick. Yeah, boy. Noise, 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 friends. Noise, yeah. Oh, everyone's good. It's Ray. Let's have sticky fingers. Yeah. Everyone but sticky fingers uh, and brick notices that the cutlass has landed on one of the uh, letters. It is partially sliced to through it. What you do with that information is entirely up to you. Brick, you're dying. Bloop. Uh, hi. Brick it, yeah. is not dying. You're good. You've made yeah. one saving throw. Bloop. The pirate turns, and uh, well, no one's near the water, so that makes this harder. But he's going to attack Sticky Fingers. Oh no, please don't die! Eat Cutlass. I said, eat Cutlass. Yeah, no Cutlass for eating. But All right, no. and that is one d six points of damage, uh, which is one damage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't eat you. <laughs> he doesn't eat you, yeah. but he does. He does grow tired of uh, of fighting on the uh, on on the land, and he will float over to the waters once again to replenish. You watch as the waters coalesce and spiral upwards towards where he is. I don't like him. Yeah, I'll be the first to say it. <laughs> I think I think you're a bit of a dick. <laughs> Not a fan, actually. That's why it Mr. Again. Pirate, and your beard is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Manfred, you're up next. Uh, did, you, did you see that? The, the bit where the, the letters and he is, like, injured. Why am I not being able to talk right now? I'm so flustered. Right. I, it's okay. I, take I, some I, I didn't see anything. So take a bit of a breath. Draw sword, the the, the 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 magic sword out of the ground, and <laughs> just go absolute ham on the literature. You do so, and as you do, you begin to plunge it into the ground, stabbing every letter you could see. He says, "No!" As you do so, can you roll me, uh, ten d six points of damage? Yeah, sure. Uh, How the hell do I do that? <laughs> Uh, oh, man, I, I, oh, right. Okay, so I should probably actually tell you. So left click on the dice to pick it up. Yep. Then right click while you're holding your left mouse button. Oh, and then look you, at that. And, and then just keep doing that until you have 10 dice. And then drop them. Drop them like they're hot. 10 d6? Drop them like they're hot. Drop them like they're hot. Oh. 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 <laughs> You watch as these tiny little lacerations begin to appear. He looks at himself and he goes, No, my vengeance! What of my... He falls backwards, a pile of rags into the water as he sinks into the pond, disappearing forever. You are now out of initiative. Look, man, but I your get grave, this. you foolish thing. Yeah. The elderly take on the dead. Yes. <laughs> Ray, well you can't done, Manfred. 
Do I make a death save? That's, um... Big brains. I will eventually float over and cast Spare the Dying. All right, you stabilize. I kind of look at all the, the cut-up papers on the floor and I go, look, man, but if you didn't want to read with me, you could have just said, but... Uh... I get it. You had to kill the guy. It's, uh, it was really impressive. Good job. I'm actually at this point here, just kind of taking it over, that's... just trying to get like little bits of these poetry back together. No, not not the actually sticking them back together enough, but just yeah. enough so you can sort of read it. Nice. Um, the words themselves are still bits of poetry, but you've chopped it to tiny pieces. It is very hard to do. Uh, before long, you can see uh, in the distance a uh, an individual arrive. Uh, it is a familiar one. It is a halfling who uh, who walks up. He says, "Who goes there? I heard a commotion. Is everyone all right? Are you uh, got any uh, healing we potions? Some... We're not. Yeah, just some medical attention. One of our uh, he heroes has fallen. Uh, you up, see." Right? Uh, you see Thomas Willett, the uh, the dock master, arrive and he says, Someone's been injured, you see. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave all these holes here. I, I just, oh, wow, you're all pretty badly injured. Oh, that man there, he's jaundiced he is. Oh, here, sir, please, have an orange. It'll help you with the scurvy. Don't worry, we had tons of people back on the ship that used to have this. He gives Sticky Finger an orange. It's going to be like an orange berry or something. Eat it. No, it's just, it's just, oh. Just eat it. It's all right. You need citrus in your system. Otherwise, you'll die of the scurvy. Oh, no! His teeth have fallen. He puts his hands in your mouth. His teeth have already fallen out. I'm afraid it's critical. He reaches into his pocket, pulls out a, a, like what looks to be a bit, big big thing of ink, draws an X on sticky fingers. Don't worry. We'll help you, son. He turns to the others and goes... Uh, <laughs> he'll then... Uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> he'll he'll walk over the brick and he'll say, "Oh, all right, this one's a big one, but he's got a strong heart. Uh, he don't look too healthy at all. I reckon uh, I reckon some good food and some good water will help you. This will also uh, uh, do do a treat as well." He pulls out a potion bottle, shakes it up. Brick, you heal seven hit points. Oh, shut your mouth! Oh, welcome back to the land of living, son. Uh, your friends here, they wouldn't leave you. Even this pale fella here. Uh, she's uh, uh, definitely a fighter for you. Well, who, who are you? Why does Sticky Fingers have an X on his face? And well, yeah. hang on, where, where's the bearded bastard? Oh, well, uh, well, he's over there. He says, pointing at Manfred. He says, your friend here is perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Healthy as a healthy as a horse he is. Oh, shut your mouth. The other one, M Manny. Right. Where, what happened? Ah, uh, you um, uh, you you injured him. It was, uh, uh, then he, um, uh, a man friend sent him away. Mm. But you did, you did good. She just looked really yeah, awkward. You, you did spectacular there, son. It's, you're, yeah. you're a party porter now. That sounds like me. Brick, uh, stands uh. himself up rather groggily. Uh, as all of a sudden you hear the halfling then say, Ah, oh, finally, I found it. Uh, uh, what happened here? Oh, he sort of scatters around the letters. Uh, he looks at the cutlass and he says, ah, stupid thing. He throws it into the, into the pond. Uh, ah, here it is. Here it is. Yes, I found it. Ah, Martha's old tricorn. Oh, I've been looking for this for ages. Uh, did you find it here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, um, uh... Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you, I, I, just, just, just one moment, please. He, he reaches into his pocket. He pulls out... Uh, five gold for each of you he says here for your troubles oh. thank you thank you so much i can't explain how how out of the doghouse this makes me you know oh i tell you what the missus it's a, it's actually it's actually our anniversary today and she she plum thought i forgot a present i didn't forget her present i kept the most important thing to her kept safe somewhere in the forest but you you find people oh thank thank you so much bless your souls bless your souls um, I, I, you I understand the whole some... idea of forgetting things. It's, it's, it's okay to admit it. <laughs> you can you can just say just had oh, yeah. a senior oh. moment, and you can just say and and that tends to get rid of all the dispersions about it. It's, everyone's like, oh, isn't that sweet? He just had an elderly moment. <laughs> aye, 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 I, I'm just confused as why you put the hat 
in a box with letters from her ex-boyfriend. That seems a bit weird. Just oh, go- is that what they are? Ah. I um I never really opened them to be honest. They they were just addressed to her, so I felt it was kind of rude to uh to uh you know to, to throw them away. But um but you know I I I'm actually kind of glad. I was gonna give them along with the tricorn as well. But if they're from that that bastard of an ex, well um a good riddance to them. Though it looks like they kind of fell into a wood chipper. It did. Uh, so that, you were course... gonna repurpose love letters? Wow, lucky woman. What? I wasn't going to repurpose nothing. There were letters addressed to her. She hadn't opened them. I thought maybe she'd like to. I didn't know who they came from. Anyway, um, uh, look, allow, allow me to introduce myself proper. Uh, I'm Thomas Willett. Um, I am the uh, the Dark Master down at Robinswood. Uh, Say, so you you wouldn't happen to be the uh, the new heroes that came into town, are you? That we are. Ah, I've heard a lot about you. And you know what? Uh, sounds like you've been doing fantastic hero work, saving us from all these terrible love letters. Good on you. Good on you indeed. Uh, well, um, uh, it's very nice to make your acquaintance and all, but uh, but I'm afraid I, I must be going. I've got a, a rather uh, lovely date with a rather beautiful Goliath uh, tonight. He reaches down and picks some wildflowers. <laughs> oh God! I'm sliding, but that's that's weird. Hey, um... So weird. No, oh, it's Thomas. All right, well, um, <laughs> have a good day then. Um, he sort of uh, begins to leave. As he is leaving, uh, the more astute of you remember uh, that, uh, you know, you, you came here kind of looking for something specific, uh, specifically the location of a messenger. This man has just introduced himself as the dock master who would see all the traffic of these ships that would come and go from um, Robinswood uh, every single day as he uh, uh, walks we, off we're... into the distance. Weird, weird, weird. Come Hi. back, weird. Uh, what, what, you say something. Um, Manfred Hello? had something to ask you. Manfred, I'm just pushing forward. Uh, you say you uh, you run the run the docks. Uh, I, I, I am, I'm uh, the dock master. I, I used to be the first mate on my wife's ship. Uh, pretty much, she, she had been done with the waters, so she gave me the appointment of looking after the the dockyard after her. Recently, was there been some sort of uh, like messenger heading out? You know, that's coming coming from the north. Oh, um, oh, you mean that uh, that fancy bastard with the 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 the, the, the blonde yeah, hair and the yeah, that wanker. Oh, geez, don't even get me started on him. Yeah, him and his sort, uh, him and his sort were um, were in town. I think I saw one of his blokes uh, come past and stop by the uh, the the Smiths. You know, I spoke spoke with one, uh, spoke with the the dwarf woman. Uh, yeah, just very quickly though. But um, no, didn't didn't leave by the docks at all. Oh, uh, I need to need to clarify: is this a group? Is this a family with the name of Smith, or are they? A, is it a blacksmith? No, oh, no, no, no. That's an excellent question. No, it's it, it's the blacksmith. Uh, you'll want to speak to a woman by the name of Lana, Lana Wernick. I'm, just, I'm, I'm saying the name over and over so I was in, in my head because I know both Manfred and Ryan are really bad at remembering names. <laughs> Your name's Oops. Banana. Yeah, that's right. You got it. Right. And truth be told, I've already forgotten the surname. <laughs> <laughs> We're next. Banana, We're next. banana. <laughs> banana, banana. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, sir. It's, uh, it's all we needed. I, I have, think. have a have a great anniversary with uh, your your mighty wife. Oh well, thank you very much. Um, you enjoy the rest of your day now. With that, you watch as he um, as he wanders back uh, towards town. Um, in short succession, you will follow. Uh, it'll take you about another 10, 15 minutes to get back into the center of Robinswood. In the meantime, you may discuss with yourselves. So is it just me or um oh oh you go but i just think that like not to gossip or anything but it's just surely she can do much better than someone who buries a hat in the well it's not my business oh anywho uh, back onto our action oh it's not just me oh thank gosh yeah no i, I mean, don't know how he even reaches anything on her. i don't even understand she'd crush him anyway <laughs> yeah i don't get it anywho um sorry what what are we here for again it's uh we have to well, kill the to... hero or the messenger or the 
I need to make a decision. Yeah. Um, so well, what? I you think he's by the blacksmith. So we go to the blacksmith? That's where the, the trail has got us so far, but are you also feeling like we're sort of falling into this role that we're pretending to be? We're doing whole... a pretty good job, you know. We're, we're doing hero work. We're doing not our job. It did get us I mean, food. I mean, yeah. we're technically just killing things. I don't really, I wouldn't say hero. Yeah, but well, with I mean, a, un until, but until he's, he's us. Until he's dead, it doesn't hurt anyone, does it? It hurts him. I mean, you know, he's died. Well, that's, it, that's I, mean, idea. Mm. I gotta admit, it's kind of nice think... being a hero. Yeah. Why is everyone looking at me until weird when not. I say that? Well, I just think got maybe. Got on your face. Yeah, why did he put that on my face? What is that? Uh, no one tell him. Why? Do, what do you know? You know what is it? Ah. Uh, <laughs> triage. No, nothing. Nothing. Uh, um. However, I think, <laughs> you know, I I love our dungeon life. I think it's. I have no intention of being a hero. I want to go back to the dungeon. I don't want to stay here. They seem nice now, but I promise you it won't last. It won't be long before they are lynching us up and asking too much. Better the devil you know. However, the messenger, I think, I think we kill the hero. Skip the messenger, find out where the hero is, kill him instead. Same, same. Go Not back it. to the dungeon. It's uh, too bright out here. Mm. So you do think this is some... You do think this is some big elaborate ruse that they are trying to, you know, trick us and then kill us? Because there were some nice people That's in that it. tavern. Okay. Well, I've always trusted Ray before. I don't see why I shouldn't. I don't know. Well, Never I've, know. I've, I'm going to have to def defer to Ray's uh, opinion anyway. She knows this world better than any of us. She was of this this overworld before her current con you know, condition. So. I'm going before to... they murdered me. Yeah, yeah, before they murdered me. That's right. That's right. We have to stay on track, guys. We have to um I we have to kill the hero. I think he at least deserves it. So they murdered you. Do you have like advice for how to not get murdered by them? Like was it some like sneak attack? Was it like a step back? Was it a... trust them? That's that's the that's the thing. Never trust them. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I can mm. do that. I'm pretty good at not trusting people. I did that for uh, I forget how old I am, but all of my life. Yeah, Except that's right. I trust Brick. Let's um. What do you think, Brick? Well, um, I don't. I mean, I won't lie. I was I was enjoying the niceties. It was a nice pie, but I trust Ray, and I trust my friend that he just saved me. And if I've learned anything, it's all good things don't last. So I'll follow what Ray says. <sighs> I'm sorry, Brick, but. Yes, I think that's best. I mean, well, not the following me bit, that's weird, but I mean, I'm literally just a ghost by myself, but um, oh, no, sure. I... The, just, this teamwork thing's a bit weird. Let's let's just go kill some stuff. No, no, I'd, I'd follow you. Like, if there was some sort of like... Stop following place me, where no, we I don't all... want no, to... If there, was a, if there was a place where we all met, and you know, like you put like pictures or Whoa! something up, you know, I'd follow you there, you know? Whoa! Okay, yeah, that, that. that's okay. That's the exception. Yeah. Yeah. Who's farting with? Oh. I'd follow that. What the heck is that? Anyone hear that? As you continue to make your way towards Robinswood, you hear a very muffled cry. The voice sounds familiar. It's the sheriff from the town. He seems to be crying out intermittently various names, specifically Boyle, Jasmine, and Sarah. So we don't trust this guy. We're boiling Sarah with Jasmine? That's what I thought. I think, that's, that's I think it's lovely. always good to play the part. I think we have to blend in, but just remember, it's us against them. Because if they knew what we really were, would they still be nice to us? That's a good point. I'm going to hide my knife behind my back in case he tries to stab us. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Yeah. Are you going to make your way towards the, uh, the, the sheriff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You make your way slightly towards the east heading um, further inland uh, from the road that would otherwise lead you to Robinswood. There in the middle of the forest, you can see the sheriff, who seems, uh, you know, kind of alarmed. 
Eric Robbins is his name. As he sees you approach, he he waves and he says, "Oh, uh, it, it's good to see you. Uh, the, the traveler's right. Uh, tell me, ha have you seen uh, a, a couple of the children in, in the forest here?" No. No. Oh, damn. Uh, you... Sorry, I... who? Sarah. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Boil, boil, Sarah with Jasmine. <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, Eli and Sarah are the uh, the, the children of the, of uh, the farmer Donovan, uh, and Boyle is my son. Uh, they they often play together in the woods, and uh, but normally they're here um, back in in the town long before supper, uh, with the sun going down. Your daughter, the assassin. Um, no, I have a son named Boyle. Very small. Uh, if you're talking about Sarah, Sarah is uh, Donovan's child. And she's she's ten. I, I don't think she's an assassin. Oh, she's trying really hard. <laughs> uh, he kind of lets that that statement go. He says, "Well, um, well, yes, they they went missing after breakfast, and we we've not seen them for lunch. We assumed that they'd come back when they're hungry, but it, it's getting quite late. Uh, I I don't suppose I can impose. Uh, would you be able to help me search the area, perhaps?" Um, I I I mean, I'm afraid that the the small town of Robinswood doesn't have much in the way of guards. I, I tried to ask some of the, the, the guards in the area that came with um, the, the Sir Knight uh, to assist, but they said that they're on the lookout for monsters and, and don't have time to help uh, search for the children, which, uh, of course, I understand and, and appreciate, but uh, we can't leave them overnight, We especially not if the guards believe there are monsters in the woods. I'm doing a bit of a, like a sideways look. It's like, yes, they should be on the lookout for monsters. <laughs> there. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna like very obviously be like well I'm gonna think I'm being very subtle but like, yes as brave heroes of the realm we will help you on your quest I like turn around everyone and like wink at them like don't worry guys he's totally gonna believe you we uh, will help he says, you uh, he says oh, oh thank you thank you uh, I, I I can give you maybe some some moderate compensation uh, oh, if, if you if you stay at the um, uh, in, in town town uh, I'm happy to cover a room and board uh, at my own establishment. Um, it, it, just, just please, uh, if, if you can give any of your time, it would be immensely appreciated. I've already searched the forest in this direction, and I'm currently heading there. If you could, um, between here and here in the forest line, just um, to search uh, just anywhere, really. I heard that they have a treehouse somewhere um, in the forest, uh, but you know, it's like a secret base. They, they haven't told any of the adults where it is. Well, we humbly accept. We humbly accept your uh, high paid and very glamorous offer there. Um, if uh, if we do this for you, could you, uh, if you happen to see that Lord Fancy Pants Valiance guy, could you let us know? Oh, of course, yes. No, I, I, I isn't that what you asked me before? Yes. Or maybe you didn't. Um, either way, I will do that. Of course, with did, without did any hesitation. We, didn't Go we ahead. just say we were trying to find him and not do the other stuff? I mean, yeah, he's he's helping us. Uh, the... He watches the sheriff, then makes his way uh, to the east, heading um, further in. Uh, he continues to call out the names, which again are Boyle, Jasmine, and Sarah. Sarah, of course, as mentioned, is the little girl who Ray uh, has been teaching to be an assassin. Uh, oh, Eli, oh sorry, Jasmine is um, uh, is. The no, I got that wrong. It's Boyle, Eli, and Sarah. Eli is the brother to Sarah, and Boyle is the son of the sheriff. That is correct. Yes. Okay. Boyle, Eli, and Sarah. Yep. You know what? Let's throw Jasmine in there as well. Why not? There are four missing kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> done. 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 There we go. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, anyone good at survival skills? May make me a survival check. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope, not really. All right, please draw me some Bible. I'll let I... Rick roll it. Yeah. <laughs> he watches Ray sort of steps behind. Oh. You've got this, Brick. <laughs> you, <don't laughs> Move us. you don't got this, Brick. <laughs> Ooh, I am. Oh, my chest hurts. Oh, I got stabbed <laughs> recently. <laughs> you did get stabbed in the back and the face. 
All right. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that you guys have had time for a uh, a short rest, which I'm gonna apply mm. to your characters. So bloop. Oh. There you guys go. Oh, that's okay. Do you want me to make the roll as well? Uh, if you want or to, you want otherwise you, you you're more than welcome to uh, to wander about. Uh, twelve. You can see not too far away that in the forest there is indeed a a small cutout area with a sign marked "Keep Out." Uh, it's written in kind of like these very big, thick um, letters. Um, kind of hard to um, to read at in places, but you can kind of tell it's written by a child. All right. As we well, I'd move say we go there. to the map. You can see as you come to this large kind of open area in the forest, um, you can see a small treehouse with four children who seem to be uh, kind of tired, kind of mopey, and uh, they seem to call out. Um, Sarah is the one who notices Ray first, and she she's sort of waving very frantically. Oh, well, that was easy. I kind of feel like this undermines everything I just said, and I am a massive hypocrite, but uh, I'm going to head towards Sarah if you want to follow. All right. And I'm just going to float to where she is. Uh, also, I can't to... see him. Okay. Uh, does anyone uh, does anyone not follow Ray? Uh, no, I not, am, but I'm flying at the at the at the um above the the um the tree line, like uh, above, above the canopy. All right, very well. Uh, I'm going to try defining oh, that boy. by making you bigger. There we go. So you're flying. So you're a little. It's yep. an elevation thing. Aha. Yep. All right. Uh, so as you guys are approaching, can you share the map with me, please? Okay. Yes. Uh, I think it accident. I my thing glitched. I lost it. No, nope, that's fine. Yep, got it now. There you guys go. That should sync you guys all up. Yep. I feel like I lost sticky fingers on that you one. Did. But... There we go. Okay, good. There he is. There he is. All right. Uh, good, good, good. All right. So as you begin to approach, you start to hear what Sarah seems to be saying. She seems to be saying something along the lines of, "Go back. It's not safe." The kids seem to be waving frantically. At this point, there's this rumbling below the earth. Oh, no. You hear this sound, like a heartbeat. It seems to be your chest. In uh, it basically seems to beat heavily in 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 your in your in your breast. Doop, doop. Doop, doop. As something shifts. In out of your view, the land seems to lurch and a bush seems to shuffle. A rock seems to slide down a hill that wasn't there. And then at the base of the tree, a huge silver fin cracks through the earth Me. and slices through it like a, like a knife as you catch a glimpse of a silvery creature, which looks like this. Uh, it then disappears once more below the dirt. We're going to roll initiative as uh, you guys see oh, what is colloquially referred to as a land shark. Mm. And before anyone tries to diplomatize it, it is common knowledge that it is not a conversable monster. Sticky fingers. I'm so yes. glad I'm flying right now. Um, yes. Mike, quick question. Yes. Uh, I didn't manage to get my other hit dice in that short rest, nor did I get that seven hit points. That uh, that is okay. I will. That's okay. I will apply that right now. Uh, so seven. Is that six? Boom. There you go. That has been get, applied. And then do we get short rest as well? Or? Uh, a short rest already applied. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, it's just if you want to use the hit die, then then I can just do that that way. That's fine. All right, Manfred, you're up first as you see this creature. From your uh, aerial point of view, you can see like um like some motion that seems to be moving towards the lake nearby. So you can sort of see like the rumbling on the on, uh, something moving on the ground. Yep. All right. Do 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 do. Uh, 
Land Aside use. from calling out, basically, I'm, from my position, I'm going to mm. call out like where I can see it moving to. I was like, watch out for there. It's heading towards the lake. And otherwise, I'm going to hold an action of a poison spray until it comes out of the ground. Very well. All right. Um, just while we're doing this, to the audience, because I just feel I have a special connection to this creature, I would like to name this creature. Um, pretty much, Eddie is going to decide if and when this creature is going to get a name. Um, at some point or another, depending on how fast the encounter goes, the encounter will change. So throw out some names. When Eddie finds one that he likes, he's going to put that in Fantasy Ground chat. So let's hear them, some of your best land shark names. I want, and, and ideally, I want something that's got like a nice juicy pun to it too. All right, so there we go. All right. I forgot that, I forgot that names are like a big deal in this universe. I was like, oh, that's yeah. kind of fun, I guess. Took me a moment. Like, oh, oh, yeah, that's a baby. oh. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no. All right, Sticky mm. Fingers, you're up. Mm. Bye. Okay, uh, I, so. Actually, you know what? I'm also going to open up the map a little bit more to you guys. Ooh. Carry on, carry on. I, I'll I'm still having that. I'm still having that same issue of like trying to actually the, the map for me is just blank. I can't actually see anything, but I'm watching the screen stream on my phone, so I'm kind of cross-referencing here. But what I want to do is uh, take a few. Can my sticky fingers move? I want to take a oh god, take a few steps forward, and I might be getting this distance wrong. So do let me know. But I believe from what I've calculated, it's correct. Um, I would like to ideally do a standing leap which allows me to do a long jump of 25 feet. Would I be able to jump to the treehouse from there? Uh, not quite, but you can jump to the adjacent tree. Yeah, I'll do that. Please. Okay. Uh, make a acrobatics check, uh, or an athletics check, either or, as you I... do your standing jump. This is about just <laughs> grabbing onto the branch. Cool. Uh, acrobatics. Ooh, yeah, I'm good at that. Um, I... I'm going to use my advantage. Thank you, Laura Bones. <laughs> Very nice. Do, 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 do. Nice. With a 23, uh, yep, you leap up and you time it so perfectly. You actually crunch your abs and, uh, you know, sort of land with your webbed feet so much so that they almost wrap around the branch and adjust so that you are now standing on the branch. You didn't sort of catch it with your hands. You just caught it with your the, the soles of your shoes. Uh, as you are now on the uh, on the same elevation, I guess, as Manfred and the children. Cool. Um, two things. One, you just said Sticky Fingers has abs. It's canon now. And two, um, <laughs> I want to um, say to the to the kids. Um, uh, so, what what do we do? Do you want to come with us? Do you want me to take you to safety? What are we What are we doing here? We, uh, uh, we, 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 we if we if we leave the tree and we stand on the ground, it'll get us. It mostly comes out at night. Mostly. Okay, well... But it's out during the day, which means we're stuck here. That seems normal. Okay. Um, well, don't worry. Well, I give them a thumbs up in my best attempt ever to comfort someone. <laughs> they, uh, they sort of look at each other. Um, the one who was talking to you just then was, um, was Eli. Uh, Boyle, the sheriff's son, basically looks at you and says, How comes you're a frog? How come you're a human? Huh? I don't question your race. Well, I mean, um, aren't frogs supposed to be smaller? You eat too much. Is that why you're so big? Did you not hear the DM? I have abs. I'm not a big. Of, Come on. A bit, a bit of snot runs down this kid's nose. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm Go trying on, to save on. you, kid. Come on. <laughs> Work with me here. <laughs> all right. Uh, you watch as a tree collapses. Uh, it basically just is destroyed. Like, just flat out wrecked. It is this tree here, and it lands this way as something seems to have cut through the base and uprooted it. Yeah, we're going to need to go. <laughs> all right, that is all that happens there. Uh, Brick, you're up. 
by the way, to the chat, in case you didn't know, Eddie has this delightful look on his face. Like he is just beaming, I feel, at some of these suggestions. So so <laughs> thank you in advance for that. Uh, Brick. I will uh, have a look at everyone and Ray, who seems very eager to save these kids. I will uh, move a good 15 feet this way, probably away from everyone as best I can. And I've seen it go underground. I will get the back of my harpoon spear and I will start like trying to whack the ground and create a racket to sort of bring it to me. So that actually, actually, the uh, the orcs have a uh, very particular war dance that they do, which involves a lot of stomping. Um, oh. For for cultural appropriation, we <laughs> will not we will not do it. But we all but for those of us who are Australian, we know exactly what's happening here. Uh, as uh, as the, uh, the as Brick begins to do this very ceremonious war chant and stomps the ground super loud, his mouth open, vicious. This is prob- this is actually really terrifying. Uh, now, as a very special culture action, I will allow Brick to make me an intimidate check. If you succeed, uh, then basically you uh, have the same thing as the imposition that I was giving Tabitha earlier on. You basically provoked it. So intimidate. I am can't remember if I'm good at that because I'm an orc, but I'm also a softie. <laughs> yes, yes, I am good. Not not my best. Not my best. I will bake yeah. you a delicious cupcake, but there will not be any poppy seeds. Ooh. Not twenty. Oh, yeah. oh dang. Okay. Um. What? Yeah. What? Okay. It gains disadvantage on literally everything. Um. Uh, except targeting you. So yeah, that's that's gonna work. Ray, just, you're up. I'll just I'll just oh, sorry. look to Ray to like just get it get it done. Done. You should be the hero, Brick. And she's yeah. gonna float to the trees to try and um, comfort the children in the way that Ray knows how. <laughs> All right, children, here is a knife, and here is a human cadaver. Now, when you see the shark. (laughs) Yeah, when you see the shark, stab it, yes. All right, uh, what do you say to the kids as you Uh, float? She's going to... She's um, going to kind of um, briefly... She's going to use her bonus action to come out of ghost form and just kind of sit down say, all right, kids, it's going to get messy. But Sarah, do you remember how to stab things? She still has that fork. You notice that the uh, the little oh, no. um, prongs on the fork have been bent and now now like super jagged. You can tell she's been just stabbing things. You can also see there's a little bit of blood on one, one of them. And you can see that uh, Eli, who's her brother, has like a tiny little bandage wrapped around his arm. All right. Hair is a badass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Miss, yes, Miss Ray. I, I've learned. I'll, 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 I'll stab right. that monster. Damn straight. All right. So first things first. I'm going to take you to the frog, and he's going to take you to safety. If anything gets you, you know what to do. Bring out the fork and stab it as hard as you can. And no matter how scared you are, never, ever, ever let anybody know. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. I'll use the fork. Okay. She's going to try and see if she can keep part of her arm <laughs> strong so she can kind of... She understands she probably won't be able to do this for long, but she's going to try and use her action to either do one of two things. If she can focus herself to keep her arm, like, still solid so they can grab onto it and she can float them across the sticky fingers in the hope that he can jump them away. Um obviously starting with Sarah. And then um, if that doesn't work, she's just going to okay. try and chuck them. So yeah. for, the cost of, for the cost of one of your advantage points, I will allow you to maintain this. However, here's the caveat. Yep. You can maintain it for 1d4 rounds per advantage you spend. And you must spend them all yep. when you decide to do this. So for example, if you say only one and you roll a d4, then like it or lump it, that's when it'll it'll end before you can use it again. Done. 
Yeah. Okay. So how many advantages do you want to use, if any? Um, two. Okay. Two advantages taken off. Because I have, I have to decide now. I have to decide how many in total, right? Two. All right. So like I can't yeah, use good. one now. If I use one now, can I use one later? Yes, like in but another uh, round, or is this just the only roll? Yes, but you would have a one round cooldown, basically. Which might mean yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to use two. Okay. So 2d4, please, if you would, uh, as Ray will last for three and five rounds. Nice. So nice. you float over between the two trees. Now, Ray, your arms are, uh, are not longer than a standard human's. But your um your sleeves your 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 the wraps for your kimono are quite long. Um, you are very because e I understand what you're trying to do. It is very easy for you to affix mm. one of your sleeves and to pull it taut uh, enough that you know you you've grabbed onto it like a sturdy ledge, and then done the same thing to a ledge over where Sticky Fingers is, creating a, a makeshift bridge across between you to the tree that Sticky mm -hmm. Fingers is in. Uh, that is what you're going to do with your action. Uh, the kids are definitely Perfect. nervous about it, but Sarah is, you know, taking your words of advice and sh putting on a very brave face. No weakness. Manfred, you still have your poison dart ready as you aim and look around. What? Uh, obviously, the tree that's directly below me is the one that collapsed. Yeah. Uh, am I seeing any sort of... Oh, I'm going to call it what it is. Worm sign of, of, of it uh, of it moving under the ground. Uh, no, you do not. That's the case. I am going to fly over this way here and just assist any of the kids that are trying to climb across the the the, the ray bridge. Okay. Um, because of that, you will give them advantage on the athletics check as they will try to cross over uh, Ray. You sort of using your hands and your wings to kind of just stabilize them as they're um, as they're moving exactly across. Right. All right. Sticky fingers. You're on that tree. You've heard Ray's plan. What do you want to do? Yes, uh, I will assist her in said plan when it's... Uh, I mean, well, what? Do I have to wait for her turn to do anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're basically waiting to grab them, and then you're going to yeah. jump them away. Uh, yeah. Which will... Yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Okay. So I'll now, hold as, my turn, now, I guess. Uh, yep, very well. Just let yeah. me know when you wish to come back into initiative. Um, all right. Brick as the only person on the ground. I will. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, no, it is no your turn. No your turn. <clears throat> Kerblammer. I'm, I'm just gonna walk. Ah, there we go. All right. As uh, <laughs> as you sort of uh, are, are performing your war dance, there is a burst from the ground as this giant creature emerges, cresting above you. This thing is immense. It is like the size of a freaking uh, camel in terms of in terms of like just how big this damn thing is. It lifts up into the air and and seems to swing downwards towards you. Now. As this happened, we're going to go through Deadly Leap. Now, Brick, for the purposes yes. of this, given that you were ready, I will allow you a chance to negate this attack. As you have been experienced living out in the shoals and understanding the fish and the like, there's this moment where the forest transforms for you. You're no longer surrounded by grass and trees, you're standing on the rocky shoals on the Razor Coast. You have your spear in hand. You see the, uh, you close your eyes and you can almost see schools of fish swimming around your legs, ignoring you almost as if you were part of the current itself. Suddenly the fish part and you can see this looming silhouette sailing beneath the waters. Similarly, your eyes, you can see on the earth, the dirt here, you see that same silhouette you feel the vibrations in the bottom of your toes. As this creature emerges from the ground, you can do one of three things. You may stand your ground. You may attempt to dive into the water. Or you may attempt to push it off kilter whilst in midair. This will knock it prone for the entire of its next turn. Well... I wasn't much for running away. 
Let's try to push it. Okay, so as it leaps into the air, using the hook, you are going to try and grab onto uh, one of its large mole-like claws and basically pull it 45 degrees, which would then basically twist it up and make it land on its back instead of with its mouth open. Make me an athletics check. Now, this is an opposed athletics check. Uh, this thing obviously doesn't have stats for athletics, so it's just going to use its straight strength. I don't believe I have any more rage, so that's a uh, good... That's uh, that was an intimidation. You'll need to use athletics. Oh, I didn't roll anything. I don't know why it did that. Um... Oh, maybe, maybe I'm just reading it from before. No, I can't be. Oh. Oh. Good uh, luck. Sa save or check? Let's go with save. Yeah, you're the best. You still have, uh, <laughs> you still have advantages, don't you, Brick? You do still have advantages, which you may use. Do, do I? Are you sure I have advantages? Uh, oh, Eddie? I got, I got given one, wasn't yeah. I? Master Nugget. You got two. Then... You got two advantages. I, I will 100% use one of my advantages and make a strength save. All right. Here All we right. Go. Have your last nugget. Nah. All right. Dang. You swing and you catch onto it, but what you didn't account for was that a uh, a shark, for example, does have a rather large frame that is filled with oil and very buoyant fluid, very easy to kind of hook onto compared to this creature that digs through solid earth. It is a mass of scales and muscles, and as you hit and hook it and pull it, it does not budge under the weight of its own body. And as it collides down with you, there is a horrifying... What's... Sorry, I just need to read what this is. Uh, if the butter bullet jumps at least 15 foot as part of its motion, then it can use this action. Each of the creatures must make a strength or dexterity saving throw or be knocked prone. That is what we're going to do. You need to make me a strength saving throw, which you may or, use your other, which you can use dexterity, your dexterity because I have danger yeah. sense and I have advantage. On oh, it. yes, that's true. That's true. Dark target's choice. So, strength or dex, and you can use your advantage on it as it is basically bursting out of the ground and attempting to use a deadly leap on you. Uh, dex is less, but advantage. Come on, come on. Good rolls, good rolls. With an, eight, with an 18, you narrowly roll to one side. You watch as it dives back into the, into the, into the earth. Uh, now, as it does so, you do get a free attack on it. Uh, as, but, but that you've expended for your, your, your you know, pulling thing. Uh, yeah. As it dives back down. I'm more, I'm more mean this isn't just going to be a hit and run death battle. Uh, so as it dives back down into the water, into the earth, you kind of sidestep. Um, yeah, realizing basically you're trying to uh, to catch what is effectively a boulder in mid-flight. Uh, um, yeah, jeez. Brick, it is your turn. Uh, it's gone. It's back in the ground. Uh, it is back in the ground. Uh, I I I will I will, I'll just I'll just roar uh, to sort of grab its attention still probably like sweating a bit it's probably not the smartest thing for me to be doing but i'm not the smartest guy i will move right. another five feet away from the group to sort of draw it further away from them all right you continue to make your uh make your war chant continuing uh continuing to go um you may do this at an advantage with your intimidate easy mostly because it's gone this prey is is quite agile quite strong it tried to attack me while i attacked it yeah it is All right, once again, it will get disadvantage on anyone but you for attacks. Ray, it is your turn. I am pretty much a Ray Bridge, correct? That is um, correct. So I guess um, if I can use my guidance to try and, like, bless Sarah, I, don't, I mean, I do care about the rest of them, but Ray doesn't care about the rest of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> while she's in bridge form. Um, just try and cast guidance if she's crawling across and touching. You close your eyes, and as you do so, magic begins to rise from your very body. The two flaming entities that sort of float around you begin to sort of uh, almost guide the children as railings, using their warmth in order to make sure that they sort of don't swing too far one way or another. That plus Manfred, 
the kids are not going to have any trouble crossing this bridge. Um, the first child um, crosses across and makes it to Sticky Finger. Uh, it happens to be Eli. Oh, I will help. Can I do my turn now and jump across and get in? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so as, us... long as, uh, as long as you've done Tabitha. Yeah, that's all I can do, really. I'm Ray Bridge. Sure. Okay. Uh, uh, Ray Bridge. Very well. So you now have Eli in your in like in your hand. You can the, the kids are small, so you could probably grab another one and still be okay. Yeah. And there are four kids. Okay, so okay, you're gonna wait for okay. the next one? Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh the second one will also come across. Uh this one is uh Boyle. Uh Boyle's a little bit chubbier, but you think you've got this. Ugh. And he's the one that called you um big for a frog. Um, I'm gonna drop it. No. Um, I'm gonna uh, yeah. uh, see you, kid. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll I'll uh, shark food. <laughs> I'll um I'll do my standing leap and jump down to the floor and kind of run a little bit and get them get them all right uh, safe uh, distance away. Okay, place yourself where you would like to and uh, and run. I guess. Here we go. Uh, I would probably land. You can bonus action double run, yeah? I can. As a rogue, maybe. Don't come okay. after me. What are you doing? Um, isn't that... Well, oh, yeah, you know, actually, maybe it is a better idea to go that way. Can I go that way? Like, what is that way, Mike? <laughs> Sorry, I just I just flashed a little <laughs> warning light. Like, just in dun, case. Dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, what is over that direction? Uh, there are very narrow passageways and narrow forested areas. If you were to go through there, the Bulet would definitely have trouble squeezing through those um, different trees. You're right. I'll do that. As you might say, they, it would have difficult tree getting through there. Oy, oy, oy. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, that was terrible. I liked it. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so yes, you make your way, you leap down there, there is no need for an athletics check as you are jumping down, not jumping up, so you don't need to compensate for their weight or anything, uh, and you begin to and you begin to move. Uh, your knees are effectively cartilage and, uh, and sinew, so um, bones breaking from impact landings are, are not much of a thing for your species, but you run and two of the children run as well. Um, which brings us back to the top of the round, which is Manfred. There are two children still awaiting uh, evacuation. Mm. All right. Two, a master and an apprentice. <laughs> okay, so the kid, two kids across the bridge. Do you reckon I could carry two as well and basically follow sticky fingers? Uh, not or while flying. Not while flying. You would you would be able to you'd be able to do one while flying, but uh, but definitely not two. That being said, Ray could, with her corporeal arms, take one as well. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one then. And uh, so Sarah's already across. Sarah was the first one. Uh, no, Sarah's Sarah, Sarah, and Jasmine are the only two remaining in the tree. I'm gonna leave Sarah for Ray. I feel like they've got a whole camaraderie thing <laughs> going on, and I'm a little bit concerned about the fork. So I'm gonna grab <laughs> Jasmine uh, and follow Finn. Uh, as you reach down to go and uh, take hold of uh, of Jasmine, you pause for a moment, realizing that you know your large quill, bushy beard, and your fur, which is rather bristly and poignantly uh, a good defense mechanism for you know creatures. You 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 almost hesitate for a moment. Manticores aren't really big on physical contact with with creatures that they like because well, you know you, you stab them. That's generally how it works. But as you stop, she is you see Jasmine is very visibly afraid. She actually just runs up and gives you a big hug, uh, almost recklessly, uh, avoiding you know, just just avoiding your 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 quills as she wraps her arms around you. She has her eyes um, shut and buried in your beard. I'm sort of taken aback and like uh 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 and just sort of like very awkwardly just like pat her on the top of her head as like everything is <laughs> everything's going to be fine. <laughs> And it was like, hang, hang on tight. We're going to, uh, we're going to take off. She, uh, and, she yeah. hangs on. She hangs on tight. And yeah, uh, yeah, I, I take up into the air. Uh, all right, you lift. <laughs> your, your bones creak a little bit, and you feel this twinge in your lower back. <laughs> uh, you know, you haven't felt that one for a while. 
as oh, uh, as back. as you 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 take the. I assume you follow Sticky Fingers. Yeah, yeah, there's a plan. All right, cool. Um, yeah, you follow Sticky Fingers pretty much in the in the same general vicinity. Uh, all right, the Bulette. Dun dun, dun dun, dun 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 dun. dun. Okay, you don't I'm see. Scared. You don't see anything for the moment. Brick, what do you do? Dun 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 dun. I dun, said dun, something dun. about to happen. You do. Um, do you want? You you can ready an action. I. I will do just that. I yeah. Well, I can see them getting the kids out. Uh, yeah, you can see the two of them evacuating with the kids. Yeah, I'll just um. These two have run out. I'll just give, as best I can, Ray like a wink, just to just to like I'm totally fine. I got this. I don't, but I'll, I'll as <laughs> best I can. We'll, we'll get that across. All right. Uh, you wink at Ray, and uh, as you do so. Uh, as it turns into Ray's turn, all of a sudden there's an explosion of dirt. No! As these jaws reach up and seem to try and encompass um, Ray. Uh, all right, Ray, I need either a strength no. or a dexterity saving throw from Shut you. your mouth. Shut your mouth. Now, <laughs> now, um. now, Eddie, Eddie. Does Ray have any disadvantages floating about? Oh, she's got two of them. What? Oh, that... Thanks, Nugget. That'd be a disadvantage <laughs> on your strength or dexterity saving throw, whichever one you would like to use. Um, they're both garbage. I I readied my action. Oh. Can I run? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can, you can, but it'll be far too late by the time you arrive. As I'll still try. <sighs> oh boy. 23 oh. points of damage. The creature reaches up, yeah. and you basically just watch as just the arms of uh, of Ray are sticking out of its jaws. You see blood pooling, like this black blood dripping down both arms. No, she's uh, bleeding. As, uh, as you watch the creature then sink back into the... Uh, it, it down into the ground. The no, this little girl... <laughs> the little girl... Stabs it and does yes. four damage. Yeah, yeah, with a fork. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she, she never stops stabbing. She just stab. <laughs> she stabs it. The fork. The fork breaks as she does so, and she says, "No." Uh, she looks down. Brick, you're running. So let's go. 10, uh, 20, 30, 40. Sorry. So you get to there and now. you watch as Ray's arm sort of sinks into the ground. Make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, dexterity saving throw. I have advantage on them because of danger sense. Dexterity saving throw. Come on, come on. No, she saved me. I can't let her go. Uh, oh, do no. better, Brick. You, you grab <laughs> and you just. <laughs> no! Uh, as she disappears below the the, the soil. Oh. I liked it way more when Finn was getting eaten. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, way funnier. <laughs> All right. As this happens, something incredibly bizarre happens. Out of the water nearby, the bulet emerges, holding Ray in its mouth flying upwards into the air. Uh, Ray, we're going to keep going at this point, mm -hmm. but, uh, but, uh, but yes, you, are, you, you, you can now feel like the wind. Like Originally, you felt your arms kind of striking earth, uh, and that's part of the damage that you, you'd taken. Uh, but now your arms are sort of flapping in, in the wind. I know your character's unconscious, but just, just to kind of give you a, a scope of what mm. you currently feel um as you're as what you're i would this... feel if i was not unconscious mm -hmm. yeah correct, correct, correct. <laughs> uh all right yeah, yeah. sticky it. fingers you watch as the uh as as the bullet is is flying through the air now like much much higher than when it leapt up at, to grab ray um <sighs> yeah just straight up so um are the kids kind of running off 
on their own or have they stopped as well? Uh, the kids are uh, are running off on their own. They seem to be heading down towards Robinswood in the right direction. Okay, okay cool. Uh, um, right. Mm. Mm. Well. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> Can I... So <laughs> the shark is... How high is the shark? <laughs> Like, is it uh, something? Is it in the air? Like, how, high? Uh, how high is the shark? The shark is 30 foot in the air. Ah, jeez. Um, can I... I can't even jump to it. Uh, um, I don't know, man. I think I'm just going to run as close as I can towards, towards, towards the, the, the land, and I'm going to be like, in, in every Star Wars movie in the sequel trilogy, and be like, "Ray!" Just yell. Like, no. <laughs> um, Did I not get that one already? Yeah. I oh, well, <laughs> and we just got two. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Manfred, you're up next. Uh, uh, the the kid I was carrying is also off and running. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Presuming All you right. put them down. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Oop, done. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy, uh, is the right thing to be saying. Yeah, man, not much to do. Other than scream and say, "Help me, um, help save my me. friend." Yeah, <laughs> yeah don't worry. Well, I want to, but don't I can't. <laughs> move don't up worry, there, we got, and we got you, Ray. Let's 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 go with the poison spray. Come on, be actually. <laughs> no, I can't do a phantom. This is a safe. It saved there. Yeah. All right, uh, you you launched it at it, and the the the, the goo just sort of splats outwards. Uh, let me also remove the children because they're they're now in a way. Um, all right, I just did. Sarah to... make it? Uh, Sarah is still in. Oh yeah, no, sorry, Sarah's still in the tree. Adoy, sorry, my apologies. There we go. Sticky fingers is now on the ground, and let me put Sarah back in the tree. Uh, okay, there we go. Sarah is still in the tree. Helping. Uh, okay. Um, all right, so that was Manfred. Uh, the Bulet. The Bulet seems incredibly confused. It, uh, seems to be, uh, disoriented. It looks down, uh, at the ground when all of a sudden, all of you can see this bright silver light suddenly erupt like a, almost like a sword, directly upwards from the surface of the uh of the of the water and it seems to go straight into the body of the bulette and out the other side its mouth opens and peels almost like a bit of tuna being slashed by uh by you know like one of those guys who you know carves tuna on the fishing port as the bulette sort of lists the mouth opens and ray uh sort of starts to fall Suddenly, in mid-air, shooting up, uh, falling downwards from pretty much the apex of where that silver light was, you see the following figure. A golden-haired knight with silver armor, with, a, with what appears to be a, a long rapier that has a mirror in it. With one hand, he sort of scoops uh, Ray. And uh, he doesn't even look at her in the eyes. Doesn't look her in the eyes. Doesn't look any of you in the eyes. All his gaze is looking at is the uh, pommel, oh, sorry, is the guard of his sword, which shows his own reflection. And as he does so, you watch as he suddenly appears next to Brick or nearby Brick with Ray in hand. He places Ray very gently on the floor looks at you, runs his hand through his golden locks and says, executed perfectly. 